Yo, what up? It's a nice rainy day today, as y'all can see. But we're gonna do a thing today. We're gonna do a studio tour. Hey, what up, y'all? It's raining. I picked a great day, but we're gonna do the thing anyway. So let's do it. So I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how to begin this video. So we're going to begin the video with just like a little spin rooney right here. See, I got some windows, you know what I'm saying? Got the door. Just let everybody get a general idea of what we're working with. Damn, we got a very high ceiling. This room is 12 by 16, and this is actually a shed. So it's a 12 by 16 shed. It's extremely insulated in here. Um, I got the Roxel insulation, and then there's like a plastic layer, and then I have the rubber insulation. Um, I said insulation. The rubber insulation, which I forget the specific name, but I'm gonna look this stuff up later and put it in the description, or I might. Just throw it in the video but we have that I have that rubber layer then of course I have drywall you know and um this shed is actually a good like 40 feet away from the house so I'm pretty much isolated from you know general noises and, and I live in the suburbs so there's not a lot of sound outside there's hardly any traffic and the most I'll get is like some birds chirping or like people mowing the lawn, you know, suburban type sounds. So as far as um, having to worry about outside noise, it has not been an issue. So I've been blessed in that aspect. Okay, so we're gonna streamline this. Let's start with the desk. This desk, shout out to my dad, cause he bought this desk. This is from Street Sweetwater, not Streetwater. This is from Sweetwater.com. Love Sweetwater. This desk is not cheap. This is probably, this is one of my favorite things in the studio is the desk. You know me, I like to keep it clean. Don't look at that right there. I like to keep it clean, nothing on the desk. Only thing that's on the desk is the stuff that needs to be on the desk. You see, it holds my gear. It's a um, 8U. It holds eight units, racks. You know what I'm saying? Got a spot for my my speakers up there. Got a little clock, a little cool lamp. I'm gonna show that later. Let's uh let's talk about let's talk about the gear. Let's start from the top and go to the bottom. This right here is a power conditioner by Farman. Um, this is just you know standard in the in the studio. It has the voltage reader. Um, my voltage is usually around between 115 and 120. It's happening to be 116 right now, but you know, it's relevant. I have these lights on here. You can dim it. Bring it up. And that. And uh, I replaced the the bulbs that it came with because the bulbs that it comes with pretty horrible. Those are LEDs. Next is my compressor. This is a DBX 160A compressor. A lot of people use this on drums. I don't record drums. I don't really have a desire to record drums or mix drums. Shout out to people that record and mix drums. That ain't for me, it's too much. I love it, man. Sounds great. I use it on vocals, of course. That's pr primarily what I do, vocals. And um, I might do some acoustic guitars and stuff like that, but. Next, on the bottom of this is a warm audio WA-73 British compressor i was looking at the um the one with the eq but since it's on my vocal chain i don't i don't eq on the way in so it wasn't necessary to use it so i just saved a hundred couple like a hundred some dollars uh, and just got the you know just got the preamp with uh without the eq which the eq that i wouldn't even use but this thing is real cool i love it glad i bought it great investment at the bottom of this let's see if i get a little more light Right. On the bottom of this is a uh, Focus Right Scarlet. Come on, get focus. Focus Right Scarlet 18 not 20. 
though audio interface folk is right they just make great stuff um for most most of my recent stuff has been recorded on the second gen focus right two channel one the i20 the um the the 2i20 so yeah this is you know what i'm saying a better version of that this is like their top of the line for the scarlet so that's on this let's go to the other side so we got another another power conditioner with the lights with the dim doesn't have a voltage reader don't need it got it on that side Actually, I'm gonna keep this on. Probably should have kept it on for the other side, but that's said and done. This is a Comanion Labs 7721 VCA stereo bus compressor. I haven't really got to use this yet, but I think I'm gonna use this on my beats. Like I'm gonna, this is like a mastering compressor. So yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this on my beats and see what it do. Here. Under this is a draw. I have a whole bunch of cables and stuff in there. Ugh, get in there. This is a draw. I can lock it, but I don't like it because I don't, I don't need to. So we're gonna skip the computer for now. We're gonna talk about this thing back here. This is a external hard drive. It is made by Lips. And this one in particular is uh, six terabytes. So more than enough for what I need to use it for. So bada bang, bada boom. This is a Behringer monitor system thing. I can control the volume with um, the volume of my speakers with this big knob right here. I can change the speakers. Um, between the speakers I have. We're gonna talk about the speakers in a second. Let me get a focus, please. Yes. I can have another source, but the only source I have is, you know, from the computer. Two headphones. This is a headphone amplifier. I'm pretty sure if I wanted to blow my eardrums out, I could with this. This thing is hella loud. But let's go down here. Let's talk about this MIDI controller right here. Ah! Yes. This is the Novation. What's the exact name? Novation 49SL MK3. Trio 3. I was fantasizing about this thing when I seen it. I was like, man, I need it. I barely know how to play keys, but I love this thing. Got the drum pad. This thing works flawlessly with Ableton. This this what sold me on it because I make beats in Ableton. I produce in Ableton. I use uh, Pro Tools to record and, and mix. But when it comes to production, Ableton all the way. And this thing works beautifully with, with Ableton. Like you hit this button right here, and it just it syncs up with Ableton. This I mean, I don't have Ableton on right now, so you can't. So clearly, it's not gonna work. But. That's what that is, and I love it. Oh, Orba, yes. And uh, these old, these Sony's. Yeah, this thing, this thing's been through the ringer. It still works though. It's glued up. It still works though. Those are the Sony. I forget the name of these. I have a new, I have a new set of these. Watch where you put them. Yeah, these are the Sony uh, 75, 7506. Yeah. I actually got these from, um, from my dude, Be Life. He sold them to me for like 60 bucks a couple years ago. They still work, man. So, so I just showed a new pair. New pair right there. Look at that. I love, I just, I just love these headphones, man. I just know how they sound. They're comfortable. They, they, they do the job. They do the job well. So I guess do I, let's talk about the computer. As you as you see me in the reflection. Chillville Studio, what up? This is a 2011. What's this? 21 inch, 27 inch. I don't know. But this is a 2011 iMac. It's um it's on the cusp of just being completely outdated, to be honest. But 
I mean, it, it still works for me. Still do what I got to do with it here. And up there, let's put the screensaver back on. Up here is a 50-inch insignia. This is mainly the um the stunt. <laughs> nah, I mean kind of, but um, it helps when I'm like it's for the vibe, really. I watch TV, people, so people don't have to be on my back, like looking. See, I like my space, man. I don't want people on my back looking, looking, seeing what I'm doing. Like, look up there, man. It's bigger and it's cooler and it's better definition. Yeah. So that's that. So let's talk about the, the speakers, the monitors. First off, let me turn the light on a little bit. Let me turn the light up so we can see some things. There we go. We're going to streamline it. We're going to show this world footage right here. Let's go back to this equipment so you can see it because it wasn't like it before. Yeah, that's how you can see it. So, these are the Atom Audio TV8. Firstly, I wanted to get the Yamaha HS8s. But here's a little story with this. I made a tweet asking, well, which one should I get? And I was just doing that, honestly, just to do it. Just to, I don't know, get some clicks. Because I was going to get the Yamaha HS8s. But I made that tweet. And Adam Audio responded to the tweet. And I was like, man, I like that. So, I'm going to buy this. So, that's why I bought the Adam Audios. For one, and, that, and, and they're, they're more affordable. They're like a couple, they're like $50 less for the pair. And it adds up to $100. So, saved like $100 something dollars. These sound terrific. These tweeters are super dope. Only thing I do wish that they had a light in the front. Because the light is in the back. So I get back there. The light indicating that it's on is in the back. And admittedly, I have turned things this off with that on. And if you're an audio engineer, you know that's a sin. It, it makes the speakers pop. But do wish that there was a light in the front to indicate that it's on but i digress these are the monitors that everybody has these are the krk rocket five five inch i'm gonna say these are first gen i got these are i'm about to, these i got these a long time ago so yeah these my most likely the first gen. I think they're on the third gen now. But I like these. They're cool. They're on the desk. So it's kind of bassy when it's on the desk. It's not elevated like these. These sound the best. But bam. KRK. Everybody knows these. They sound cool. They're good for production. Definitely good for hip hop. I got this thing right here. This. Super cool lamp. I love it. It doesn't provide too much light, but it's, it's for the vibes, baby. It's for the vibes. Behind here, I have... These are plastic, in case people are just thinking, like, these like foam. I'm sorry, right now. I have zero foam acoustic treatment, and that's on purpose because I don't like the way foam looks. or And it doesn't. it's not the most effective thing. And it just looks cheap, and then I wasn't with it. So I got these. These act as the core slash diffusion. You gotta know what diffusion is. It means sound hits it, breaks the sound up, so it doesn't like just bounce all over the place. It, it breaks the sound up evenly. All these are even. Um, it's a mathematical thing. Are these 100% mathematical? I don't know, but they look cool. Got these from Ivory. I'm going to put a link to all the stuff that I got. So if y'all want to check it out for yourself. This is not sponsored. They're not paying me. I wish they was, but these are real cool. So let's talk about... Let me talk about this little... Little thing that does that. That's cool. I got this off eBay for like... 20 something dollars. It's a cool little, little vibey thing. 
this is the Artifon Artifone or Orba. I did a little unboxing a while ago. I haven't really got to play with this yet. It's real cool though. Phone charger, wireless keyboard. That's not hooked up to anything. Let's talk about this rack. Another power conditioner. That is a, this is a repeater for the Wi-Fi. If anybody has questions about this, if it works or not, it does. It works pretty good. So that's that. This is my Behringer preamp and compressor. Um, I think I'm gonna use this for like podcast or like if I have people over and I want to do interviews and stuff like that or like some live performances, I'll hook them up to this preamp and, and this compressor and uh, I'm gonna run it through this Soundcraft. Um, I haven't really got to utilize this whole thing completely, but I think I'm gonna use this for like if I want to do like some uh, some like live performances, you know, this is make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? I just got it's not wired uh, properly yet, so. I'm thinking I might need to buy another audio interface. Um, I have a MacBook Pro in the house. I'm gonna bring in here, um, hook it up here, probably run run GarageBand because it's just gonna be for simple stuff. Um, try not to make this video too long, but it's hard to not make the video long because I'm doing the entire studio tour, so that's gonna take some time. Yeah, this is a 12 channel. Think I'm a jig. Another gift from my father. He bought this years ago. Shout out to dad again. Super cool thing. So, should I, I'm gonna talk about the microphone. We're gonna get to this later. This is. You gotta get the finger in there. You gotta. Okay, let's get focus on it. Okay, so now we're on the microphone. This is an AKG C414 XL2. This is one of the most expensive things that I've ever bought in my life. And I love it. It's a condenser microphone. It's great for people using it on vocals, so it's right now I'm gonna be using it on. People use it for like overheads, um, room mics. It's like a Swiss Army knife of of um of microphones i even seen some people put it on the kick drum hey whatever has nine polar patterns as you can see here i'm um, directional cardioid um i think i'm gonna make a video explaining like microphones and their functions but i'm just gonna do like a general thing assuming that people know what, what things are but yes nine polar patterns And um, back here is a continuation. It's, um, you know, cut frequencies out, cut the lower frequencies out. Uh, you know, pad. That's what that does. Love it. I have more microphones down here. In this cabinet that I got from Lowe's. This microphone right here, I don't feel like pulling these out. I'm just showing you the boxes. This is a Shure KSM27. As you can see, I'm pretty sure y'all can read. This is the microphone that I've used for the past, pretty much every song that you ever heard me on was on this microphone, which costs $300. It's a condenser microphone. I love this microphone. It sounds good on everything that I've used it for. Um, yeah, man. I don't think they make this specific model anymore. I think it's um, been replaced by the KSM 32, I wanna say. But, dope microphone. Of course I got the, that's um the box for the Shure SM58. I got two. That thing right there, this is the kit that I'm using to record this video up, actually. So, vlog kit, got that microphone. This is the microphone that you're hearing my vocals through. And the stand that I'm using to hold it. Pretty cool, works good. I think, I think this costs like a buck 50. This is the case for the AKG. Sturdy case, don't feel like pulling it out. 
This is another 8kg microphone. This is a pencil condenser microphone. Okay, can we get focused? We're not gonna get focused. It's a pencil condenser microphone. It's the P70, it's a uh, P170. I haven't really got a chance to use it yet. It's really good uh, for um, like acoustic guitar. That's what I'm gonna use it for. I have yet got the opportunity to use it on anything, which is unfortunate. And shout out to Sweetwater, because Sweetwater has made a bunch of money off me throughout the years. Shout out to Sweetwater, I love you. Great customer service. And this up here is, you know, that is for lights. I have yet got to use that. This right here is, what's this thing called? You can see, Iconic Mars Comet. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna demo this thing. I have mixed feelings on it, but I'm gonna demo for it. I'm gonna do a demo. Let y'all be the judge of it. I tried to juggle it. I dropped it. Oh well. Got a little table here. Fake plant. It's not real. Draw here. I just keep you know remotes and keys and miscellaneous things like scissors. Mass because COVID got some cold drops in here. Caution tape. I guess the caution tape is kind of random, but let's talk about the acoustic treatment. Let's talk about the panels. This panel, again, sweet water, got on sweet water. I think this is called the London 8. Got these. Again, these are not foam, it's installation. Eight of them. They hook up extremely easily. I don't want to take it off though, but they're super easy to put on. These bass traps, um, me and a friend made, me and Chris Rockwell made. They're filled with insulation, um, wrapped. They're seven inches, a little more than seven inches deep. They do the job, I guess, um, you know, I'm assuming. On that side too, bass traps. Again, the London 8s. Let's talk about probably the most noticeable thing about Chill Build Studio is this acoustic panel. This is a custom acoustic panel from, from Acoustomatic. I designed it, I sent it out to them. They custom built it. Beautiful, shout out to Nas. The World Is Yours is one of my favorite songs ever to exist. Nas is my favorite artist of all time. Clearly, I got, got him on my wall. Shout out to Nas. Shout out for, to winning that Grammy. Salute. And with that, let's go to this Biggie Smalls rug. You know what I'm saying? Biggie Smalls just has a real cool aesthetic. You know, considered one of the greatest of all times. I love Biggie. It's just inspiration looking down on the on the floor and seeing him. Big shout out to Christopher Wallace. Here. This is a gamer chair made by Respawn. It's pretty comfortable. Let's talk about the chilling area. Oh, let's, let's, let's continue with the acoustics. This is uh, by a company that's killing it. They're pretty much, they probably have acoustic panels in every studio that I've seen on YouTube. These are GIK acoustics. It acts as, these act as diffusion and there's absorption behind it. So it's absorption, diffusion in one and they look real cool. And these right here, came with the London 8, so y'all know, that's a good investment. And talk about more diffusion, I have diffusion on the ceiling. What these, I don't know specifically what these are called, but I bought them. And I guess they work, I don't know. I just, I just bought them just to make sure. This frame right here, or this is for the vibes, be dope. I designed that, Photoshop framed it. Has some cables up here. These are, you know, cables that people typically just grab. Oh, I need XLR. No, just grab it. You know, this is your um, unbalance for instruments. 
you know, got another one. These will plug your guitar. These are actually balanced. So I just knock that over, whatever. Headphones, Sennheiser, AKG. I love AKG. And pick this up off the ground. Look at that. You gotta keep your cables neat. Chilling area, some hand me down seats. Chill though. Got a carpet on here with some reflection. This is taped on here. I actually was gonna put it on the wall, but then I sat it there. I was like, man, that looks kinda cool. So I just kept it there. Mugs. And um, this is an electric. Like I can plug this in and boil water and make tea. I got this on here. Got to yeah, keep the lights on. It's COVID. No. Rope coat. Spray for your hands. No towels. That's that. I put this uh this COVID tape together. Took a while. Took a lot. Took a lot longer than um I'd like. Bottle of water down here. You know, got to keep it pulling spray here. You got this bass guitar right here. Ask me if I play bass. The answer is no. I'm learning how to play bass. Or at least, at least that's what I tell myself. But I have this bass player here. I said bass player. Bass guitar. You can tell I play bass. I have this bass player here. It's a uh, Focus. As the mic tries, as the camera tries to focus. Focus 42, 420S by Kramer. It's cool. Bought it off a friend for like 60 bucks. And that's that. Had these curtains here, these blackout curtains. I wanna say I bought these off Wayfair. It's two of them. Doubled up. And and they, they do uh they do um they do do things. They do make a difference. Surprisingly. Get up on two sides. I have curtains. Blo um yeah, blocking the doors. For two reasons. For more acoustic treatment. Also for vibes, because it's just like when you're sitting here and you just see a you know, a shed door kind of just, it kind of throws off the vibes a little bit for me, you know? Up here, I got these hooks on the door. People that hang up the coats and, uh, you know, bags and stuff like that. I got these from Amazon. I'm sorry. I got them from Amazon. It's, uh, you, get, you get like uh, five of them for I want to say it was like $13. But I fed the beast and shopped off Amazon. These curtains I got from Lowe's. Got this stool. This carpet. I guess we can talk about this side is carpet. I wanted to act like this side was like the recording booth. That's why that's there. I'm like, this is like the recording. Got everything in one room. Because... I'm very much so focused on, I want to balance it between the vibes and the acoustic treatment. Like I wanted to sound good, but I also wanted to not to, I also wanted it to be comfortable. So sound good and be comfortable were my priorities. And it does sound good in here. And it is very comfortable in here. It's a lot of space. People over here, I'm over here. I don't have people on my back. They're gonna watch that. Okay, I have this cloud up here. Who's the cloud above the desk? Just to absorb sound that possibly bounce off the desk or, you know, just off the speakers. And that's how that works. And that's, uh, if you're curious about that, that this is an air condition slash heating unit. Um, that's a heating unit. And, oh man, I gotta talk about these. I just got these. These are the 120 ohm. Uh, they are dynamic. ET77 Pro. Best headphones I've owned and have listened to music on. 
my mind was blown when I listened to these. Like, I'm hearing things that I just wasn't hearing before. It's crazy. That's air filter. And I think this has gone long enough. This is going to be a long video of fake plant over there. So, this is a long video. Sorry. I'm trying to recover everything respectably. 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 Five time, five time, five time, five time. That's Booker T. So, yeah. So, this is the studio. This is Chillville. You know, sit down. Try to cut this short so it's not too, too long. But, yeah, man. Chillville Studio. Full tour. Check the vibes. It's raining outside. And that's it. So, 